Acute kidney injury is a, a, an acute condition, it happens rapidly, it causes a loss of renal function, uh, it affects millions of Americans, uh, more than a million Americans uh, a year, uh, it causes a doubling of the hospital mortality and uh, hospital length of stay and causes millions, in fact billions of dollars in, in uh, cost to, to care for, and it causes long-term disability in terms of chronic kidney disease, need for dialysis, and uh, conditions like uh, increased risk for cardiovascular disease. It's very difficult to diagnose, which is uh, part of the problem for, for treatment. Uh, early on, there's no symptoms. Uh, it's a silent killer. Um, later, it's diagnosed by changes in function, which are uh, manifest by changes in serum creatinine or urine output. But by then, there's often uh, already a loss of, uh, of kidney tissue. In terms of treatment, uh, right now, treatment is largely supportive, although uh, the hope is that uh, new emerging therapies uh, will be useful in the future. Um, supportive therapy, though, is important because there are the two most common causes of acute kidney injury are sepsis and nephrotoxic medications and we can do something about both of those. We can identify sepsis and, and treat it with antibiotics and source control and we can uh, identify nephrotoxic medications and discontinue those or choose uh, better alternatives. The Center for Critical Care Nephrology here uh, in Pittsburgh is uh, devoted toward uh, bringing together scientists and clinicians from a wide range of disciplines uh, to address this problem of acute kidney injury and, and related conditions. But acute kidney injury in particular uh, is such a, um, a difficult problem that really requires um, a multifaceted approach. Some of our major accomplishments have uh, been to uh, actually initiate at the, in the hospital system uh, an alert uh, for a acute kidney injury. It's in the medical record system. It uh, goes back and finds uh, baseline uh, serum creatinine, which is a measure of renal function, uh, and looks at the change between that measure and, and a current measure uh, and tells people that that change has occurred uh, and gives them a, a sort of a leg up in terms of noticing that um, this is a problem. Our scientists have led the, uh, the field in terms of developing um, studies which have uh, demonstrated the uh, validity of a uh, new biomarker panel for detection of acute kidney injury, a risk assessment of acute kidney injury, which recently uh, FDA approved. So I think the most important thing physicians need to understand, and when I say physicians, I mean not just nephrologists and intensivists, but uh, physicians in different uh, disciplines. Much of acute kidney injury is first seen by family practitioners, emergency room doctors, orthopedic surgeons, and so by the time intensive care doctors and nephrologists see them, it's often too late. Um, so I think it's very important for uh, physicians to understand the, that this is a common problem, that it causes severe uh, long-term disability as well as short-term uh, uh, illness and death.